Amen. God bless each and every one on this evening. It's so good to see each and every one of you on tonight. Amen. We're so excited. We're excited because we know we are about to embark upon 2022. Hallelujah. Amen. We're so glad. Come on and just clap your hands on tonight. Amen. Make some noise for the Lord. Don't be afraid to unmute your mics on tonight because it's all about praising the Lord and making some noise for him on tonight. Amen. Amen. So unmute those mics so I can hear you. Amen. 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 We're so excited about the things that God has done for us in 2021. And here we are the last day of the year. Amen. Amen. December 31st, 2021. Amen. Not only the last day, but we have come down to the last hour the last hour of the year. And we're so glad about that. We're excited about that. I don't know about you, but God has done great things for me on this year. Amen. He's been so, so good to me. And I thank God for that. Amen. Holy nation. We know that the Lord has been good to us on on, to, on this year, and we thank God for that, amen, but we are marching on, marching on for 2022. We thank God for our pastor, certainly Pastor Andrew Pepina, amen, we do give God honor and glory on tonight, and we thank God for our leader, our pastor, amen, we bless him on tonight as well. We just thank God for each and every one of you, amen, amen, uh, coming from all different uh, places, amen, states and things of that nature. We thank God for you on tonight. I don't know about you and your surroundings, what's going on around you, but where we are, we can just hear uh, firecrackers, fireworks going off everywhere, and they've been going off for the last three or four hours, and they are making noise, Amy, I mean, just noise everywhere, and so I said, you know what, God, we need to be making noise for you, but a glorious noise, amen, amen, giving him praise on tonight for the things that he has done, so we know that we are here at 11 a.m., amen, and we are going to go right on into the 12 o'clock hour on tonight, so we're not going to uh, uh, hold anything in one place, but we will move uh, 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 as hurriedly as we can on tonight so we can get ready for uh, the word that our pastor is going to bring to us on this New Year Eve night. Amen, amen, amen. I wish I could have pulled my little hats out, uh, Evangelist Magnolia up there. I wish I could have just pulled some something out, amen, to demonstrate. Anybody that know me, amen, they know that I'm a virtual aid type of person, and I like to show some different things, so I thank God for that on this evening. Uh, we just want to move on. If you, uh, as I said earlier, your mics, your microphone, you know, usually when we're in prayer at 615, we usually uh, 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 mute our mics and all of that. But on tonight, guess what? You do not have to mute your mics unless you have something unusual going on in the background. Amen. Amen. But if you give it God praise, if you're, 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 you're reaching out to him, whatever it is, amen, you are welcome to unmute your mic. Keep your mics on mute so we can uh, hear each other. Amen. And that we know that you're there with us on tonight. Amen. We're so glad about that. As we move along, we are going to begin with prayer. Uh, and we're so glad that we have with us none other than Evangelist Laura Edmondson. And also we have um, uh, Evangelist Margaret Cornelius, Deacon Samuel Phillips, and, and Deacon is Deborah Faye Washington. Amen. And so we're so glad about these prayer warriors, amen, that are going to come and offer prayer uh, in that order, in that order. Again, that's Evangelist Laura Edmondson, uh, 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 Evangelist Margaret Cornelius, Deacon Samuel Phillips, and Deacon, uh, Deaconess Deborah Faye Washington, amen, will be coming in that order, and they will be offering up prayer, amen, amen, for this wonderful year that God has blessed us and kept us here, amen, amen, and to just uh, invoke his presence as we go into 2022, amen, amen. So at this time, I want you to receive the prayers in that order, and after that, I'll be back with you. God bless. Good evening, everyone. It truly is a blessing to see all of you 
tonight who have come together to just worship in 2022. And I am just excited, so excited to be a part of the HNC ministry. And I thank God for the leaders, the shepherd of Holy Nation Church, none other than Pastor Andrew Papina and of course, First Lady Shirley Papina. So let us go before the Lord. God has done so much for us in 2021. I know that we've all faced various trials and tribulations, but God, he is faithful and he has brought us to this point. The song that says million, so we have so much to be thankful for. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, we come this day. We come in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. We truly come in a name that we know that is above every name, a name that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. God, we thank you for 2021, Father God. We thank you because, God, we've learned so many things, Father God, of how faithful you are, Father God, that your word truly is a living word. Your word, Lord God, will do what it says. And we are grateful unto thee this day. Thank you for our leaders, oh Father God, who continues to lift us up in prayer. We come today to lift them up, Father God, asking that you in the journey that you have them on, God, that you will continue Hallelujah. to grant unto them, Lord God, greater wisdom, Amen. knowledge, and understanding, Father God. God, give them a fresh yes. anointing each and every day, Father God, that they are able, Lord God, to handle whatever come their way, Lord, because they know that your word says that you are with them, that you would never leave them, nor forsake them. We are excited Lord God, for our leaders, God, we thank you, oh Father, how continue to open the windows of heaven and pour them out of blessing that they shall not have room enough to receive it, Father. God, that your blessings will overtake them, Father, because your word says that it will do just that. So we thank you this day, Lord God, for each and every one who have come together, Father God, we pray your choices, blessings to rest upon them, Father God, we pray that you will continue to keep us from danger seen and unseen, Father God. God, we thank you this day, hallelujah, that you've given us power and authority over the enemy, Lord God. We know, Father God, we can bind those things up that's not of you. And Lord God, you said that you will bind them in the heavens, Father God. God, we come against every evil spirit that will try to hinder, Father God, your people in 2022, Father God. Lord, we come today to look, Lord God, to favor your blessings, oh, Father God, upon for people, Father God, give us to stay and to hold on to your unchanging hands because you change not, Father God. Thank you this day. And we know that we're tattooed in the palm of your hands. And God, because we are, we know that we are blessed beyond measure. We're blessed to be the head and not the tail. We are blessed going in and we are blessed going out. No weapon, no weapon that is born against us. The people of God, it shall not prosper, Father God. Thank you this day, Lord God, for healing as we go into 2022, Father God. Those that may not be feeling well in their bodies, oh God, but we come today to declare and decree healing because by Jesus' stripes, God, we know, hallelujah, your word says that we're already healed. Thank you this day, oh Father God, hallelujah, for the great celebration of worship on today. We magnify your holy and powerful and righteous name, Father God. We thank you, oh Lord God, hallelujah, that you will continue, Lord God, to light our pathway, that we're able to see clearly all that you have for us to do. We thank you, Lord God, that our ears, Lord God, will be attentive to your voice, that we, Lord God, may do all that you have already planned and purposed for us to do, Father God. A long life, hallelujah, as you continue to lead and guide us, Father God, as we continue Father God, to lean unto you, O oh Father God, and not to our own understanding. God, continue to bless each and every family, Father God, their households, Father God. Bless, Lord God, hallelujah, on the jobs. Bless, Lord God, those that are in business, Father God. Bless, Lord God, those, hallelujah, that is in ministry, Father God. We thank you now, hallelujah, that we know, O oh God, hallelujah, that you have, Lord God, great blessings for your children. Bless the city, oh Father God. God, we come this day pleading the blood of Jesus over each and every 
one, Father God, that has come together on tonight. We know that there is power in the blood of Jesus. And God, we pray, Lord God, for the United States of America. Hallelujah. God, we come against, Lord God, COVID. We come against every attack, oh, Father God, against this country, Father God. We know that your word says that my people, hallelujah, who are called by my name, will pray, oh, Father God, hallelujah, and turn from their wicked ways. God, then you will hear from heaven. We will hear from heaven, and you will heal the land. Heal the land, oh, Father God. Heal the land. We do pray, and we thank you now, oh, Father, for all that you're going to do this day, hallelujah, taking us in for 2022, and we're, God, walking in. We're marching in. Have a great excitement and great anticipation of all that you have for us, and we believe by faith. Father God, that it is done and it is so. It is clear to create so in Jesus' name. We do we thank God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. We bless your name today. And Lord, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, she might be having a, a little problems and what have you. Deacon Phillips is coming next to offer prayer. Amen. And please receive him at this time. Amen. Let us bow. Father God, we thank you. Tonight, God, for all you've done. God, first of all, we come, God, to tell you thank you. You've been so good. You've been so kind and understanding, God. You've kept us all down through this year. And God, we thank you for bringing us, God, to another year. You've been so good, God. We just thank you for grace and mercy, God. And thank you again for being our God, our King, our Savior, our Lord, our healer. God, you've been our deliverer. So God, we thank you. We've been through a lot of things, God, this year, God, but you have kept us safe and you have kept us through it, God. So many, God, didn't make it this year through to see another year, but God, you kept us here. So we thank you, God, for what you've done. God, I come this morning, God, praying now, God, for all those, God, that's seeking you tonight. And God, I pray for those, God, that are even going through bereavement, God. I pray for those, God, that are sick and that, that those that are shut in. I pray for those that are going through COVID, God. God, I pray that you're here, Lord God. I know you are, and we trust you, God, to do it tonight. And God, we thank you for it. Thank you, God, for Pastor Pina, God, and Lady Shirley. I pray, God, for victory for Holy Nation, that you continue, God, cover them. Thank you, God, this afternoon, God, for Pastor Spencer, God. Thank you for Maine Baptist and the entire congregation, God. We pray for them now. For another year, God, that you open doors. You let him hear you clearly, God, speaking, God, again for another year. So we thank you, God. I pray, God, continue, God, for those that, that in law enforcement, God, I can lift them up before you tonight, God. I lift up, God, all our first responders, God, that you uphold them, God, and keep them in your will and in your way. We thank you, God, for what you're doing. God, I thank you for our mothers tonight, and thank you, God, for fathers everywhere. But God, I come tonight lifting up our young people, our, our youth, and our, our grandkids, God, all those, God, that, that God, that we stand, God, and that, that, that be an example for them, God. God, I thank you tonight, that God, that you turn, God, things around. God, I know you're able. God, you said if your people who are called by your name, we just humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from that wicked way. Then we would hear from heaven, God, and you would heal the land. So, God, we ask for forgiveness tonight of sin and trespasses, God. That the things that we have done is not like you. But, God, we know that you are able now to take care of us. We thank you for being our shepherd. Thank you, God, for all you have done. Because the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. You make us to lie down in green pastures, you stir our souls. Surely goodness and mercy, God, shall follow us all the days of our life. And we should dwell in your house forever. But we thank you tonight, God, for who you are. So, God, we pray continuously, God, that you cover tonight. God, I know you're able. We trust you to do it. Keep us now as only you can. God, you know what's needed tonight before we even ask. We can't call it all, God, but you're able, God, to do it all. So we trust you to do it tonight. Keep us now as only you can. We love you, God. We call you first loved us. And God, I truly believe that all things work together for the good of them that love you, who are called according to your purpose. So we thank you tonight. We love you now. Bless every church open in your name. I pray for everyone on this call tonight, God. Bless Pastor as he bring the word, God, that he would go deep, that we are hear a word from you, that our lives would be changed. Not only be hearers, but we will be doers. So we thank you now. We love you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we do pray. 
Amen. And praise God. Amen. 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 That's a good place to just give him a praise right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Deborah Faye. Are you on? Yeah. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you on tonight. I want to thank you for this day, Lord, this, this year, this 365 days that you have kept us. You never left us, Lord. We just want to thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, I just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, you for healing my body. Thank you for a healing yes, cancer. Thank you for healing diabetes. Thank yes. you for uh, regulating high blood pressure. Thank you, Lord. We just want to thank, thank you, Heavenly Father, for all the things that you have done, Lord. Yes, I just want to yes. thank you for the covering that you have put over our home, Lord. Thank yes. you for keeping our children keeping them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, I just want to thank you for allowing us to just get up and have the activity of our limbs each and every day, Lord. Like the deacon said, somebody didn't make it, Lord, and we just thankful that we made it, Lord, to 2021, headed into 2022, another year, Lord, another year that we never seen before, Lord. We just want to thank you and give you praise, Lord. We want to thank you for being being a healer, Lord. We want to thank you for being a way maker, Lord. We want to thank you for being a promise keeper to us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come asking you to continue to strengthen Holy Nation, Lord, as a whole, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for Holy Nation. Why? Because you did not let no one come knocking at the door, Lord, during this pandemic to put us out, but you let us, kept us as we went through the pandemic, Lord, we just want to thank you. We want to praise your name, Lord, for keeping us, keeping the church doors open, keeping the virtual setting open, Lord. We just want to thank you for our leaders, Lord. Pastor Perpina, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for his, his servanthood, Lord, and his faithfulness, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you and keep him, Lord. Keep him with uh, good health and good strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Yes, Continue Lord. to touch First Lady, Lord. Continue to be with her, Lord, in all her endeavors, Lord. Give her strength, Lord. Let her know that you love her and you standing behind her, Lord. You got her back, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just want to thank you and praise you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. I decree and declare on this year, 2022, as we go into 2022, it's the year we reward rewards for the faithfulness. Lord, we just want to thank you for the faithfulness, the people that has been faithful to you, Lord. Let them decree and declare for the rewards, Lord. You said that you reward us for our faithfulness, Lord. And we want to thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you right now, Lord. Thank you in advance, Lord, for the supernatural, Lord. The supernatural, Lord. The confidence, the hope, Lord. All the things in the supernatural, Lord, that is coming to us in 2022, Lord. We want to thank you for everything that you're going to bring to pass, Lord, in 2022. Lord, we're asking you in that Pray that you give us strength, Lord. Give me more strength, Lord. Anoint me the more, Lord. Give me holy boldness to be that bold person for you, Lord. For the people that are hurting, Lord, in 2022, Lord. Let us go to them and let with love and kindness and tell them that God loves them. And they care for them. You care for them, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Let them come running. What must I do to be saved, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord? We just thank you, Lord. We give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. We give you all the honor, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I just thank you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. And I declare victory, Lord, in 2022, Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
I thank you and I praise your holy name in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. We got to get it together with this technology. Amen. There's a lot of moving and all of that going on, but that's all right. Just look over that and just remember to give God praise because it's all about him. Amen. Amen. We thank God that he allows us to go through. Amen. The things we go through and so often the Laura say, I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. Amen. And we just thank God for all that he's doing, yes. what he Amen. has done. Amen. Amen. What he's doing right now and what he's going to do. I don't oh, know, but man. I just, I, I feel you. excitement in the air. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Clap your yes. hands. Amen. You might be in home yes. alone. Lord. It doesn't matter. Amen. Just clap your hands. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, amen. Just be getting ready. Just be getting ready while I sing this little song. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Come on. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, joy bells. Joy bells. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus, keep ringing in my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus, keep ringing in my soul. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, keep ringing in my soul. One more time. Joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Your bells keep ringing in my soul. Joy bells, joy bells, joy bells keep ringing in my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I would like to uh, share a testimony. Evangelist Woods, are you on? It's actually not for me. It's actually not for me, but I was just sitting here thinking about how the Lord has kept my kids over the years. I remember uh, the Joseph came to the house one night. He had got robbed at a gas station. Somebody had put a gun to him and took him in his car and told him to drive off. And they took him to a, behind some apartments. And, and when they took him behind the apartments, they told him to get out. And he said he never looked back. He kept on running. He never looked back. And by the time that he got here, the police got here also. And for them to come and tell us that normally time, whenever somebody get robbed at gunpoint and be taken from the scene that they come here, come here uh, got robbed that they never come back. That them people, they, they don't have a chance of living. But I just thank God for sparing my son's life. And about a couple of years ago that my son Jordan was driving on the interstate, someone hit him from behind and he flipped from off the interstate into a revenge uh, like three or four times and the car flipped over and it landed straight up. And he walked from down on the revenge up the hill without a stretch on him. And I just thank God for covering my kids. I just thank him for the blood that he has put around them. And I know that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, but by the prayers of the saints and for us praying for them, the Lord has kept them. And right now, I don't know where they're at out in the street, but I'm just pleading the blood of Jesus on their lives right now that they come home safely or wherever their homes may be but I just thank God for sparing their life and what he is in my life and in my husband's life and I just want him to keep on blessing us and calling us to be what he wants us to be in these last and evil days thank you we're gonna uh, go ahead and get our summits up and then we're gonna call for uh where pastor can come amen and have time amen to share the word of god the way god has given him amen so we certainly want to do that at this time please receive evangelist aretha amen Phillips. she's coming in song after
after which our pastor, amen, the pastor of Holy Nation Church of Memphis, amen, amen, our shepherd and our leader, amen, the man that God has given to us will be coming, amen, with the word for the end of 21 and the beginning of 2022. God bless you, amen. Say amen for Evangelist Aretha at this time. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and lonely nights. But when I look around and I begin to think things over, over all of my good days outweigh my bad days so i i won't complain god has been good to me He's really been so good to me, more than this world could ever be. He's been good to me. He drowned all of my tears away, turned my midnight into day. So in the midst of it all, I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I won't complain. God, God has been good to me. He's really been so good to me. More than this world could ever be. He's been good to me. He dried mm -hmm. all of my tears away. Yes. Turned my midnight into day. So in the midst of it all, I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm down in 21, but I'll say thank you, Lord. Thank Had you, Lord. a lot of answered prayers, and I'll say thank you, Lord. Ah. Oh, I won't complain. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Bless the Amen. Lord at all times. Uh, 2022 is on its way. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. I'm going to, hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together. Everybody, screen should be popping because God is good yes. to us. I thank God yes, for you. Yes, I thank God for you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heaven say, happy almost new year. Happy almost, 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 almost. You made it. You made it. You made it. You got about 20 yes. more minutes, but I got ah. a quick word. We want to yes, give a yes. word to Ooh. you right quick. And I want you to do this. I want you to do this so everything can stay kind of steady. So everything can stay kind of steady. I want you to mute your mics right now. Mute your mics. Everybody mute your mic. This is the housekeeping right now. Mute your mics. Hallelujah. And we thank God. We thank God. Thank God for First Lady. Thank God for all of you across the country that are viewing us uh, here on this platform. You know, some people are at church and some people are saying church is closed. But I found out this, that sometimes when you think church is closed, church is open. And sometimes when you think church is open, church is closed because the Lord said, my spirit will not strive with man always amen so god knows what he's doing and we thank god for him we thank god for what's going on in the heavenlies we thank god for this uh year that we have gone through and we have gone through we have gone through and we're going 
through. Amen. Listen, turn with me right quick to Acts 16 and 16. Acts 16 and 16. Turn with me to Acts 16 and 16 right quick. And I got a word. I want you to pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. God, I ask you to decrease me and increase thee and me that I might speak, herald, preach, proclaim, teach an unadulterated gospel with power, Lord, in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Listen, and it says, and it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. For the saving of time, I'm going to skip that and go down to verse 25 of that text. And it says, And at midnight, Paul and Silas, prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately, 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 say it in your room, immediately, say it in your home, immediately, all the doors were open, and everyone's, everyone's everyone's bands were loose. For a few moments, I want to preach to you. I want to give you what God has given me. What God, what, what got you in the mess you in will be the same thing to get you out of it. That's what I want to talk about. What, what got you in the mess you in is going to take the same thing to get you out of it. So let's check this out. As we look across the canvas, of 2021, some believers may have questions, especially if you have suffered loss of family members, suffered financial reversals, etc. But I am here to encourage you this evening at the cusp of a new year, another opportunity that God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. He is not slack. The Bible says concerning his promises, and he watches over us like a loving father would. Sometimes even though uh, you love your children, if you see uh, them taking wrong turns, hanging with questionable crowds, or just being lazy and disrespectful, even though love is there, that father must always be fatherly. That mother must always be motherly. And those the father loves, the Bible says, he chastens and scourges. I submit to you, my brothers and my sisters, that God has not, he has not, he has not forgotten you, nor has he turned his back on you. I believe uh, uh, we are, uh, uh, must continue to be faithful full of faith until, check this out, the end, all the way, touch your neighbor, say all the way, touch your spouse, touch your dog, touch your cat, touch yourself and say all the way, I got to go all the way, check this out, and, and verse, says, verse 16 of the text, it says, and it came to pass as Paul and Silas went to pray, they encountered this certain woman that, that was possessed, the Bible says, with a spirit of divination. In other words, uh, uh, she had a gift of divination that brought her masters much gain by soothsaying, fortune telling. Soothsaying is getting information through usually those occult type practices. In other words, she was in touch with the devil. She was in touch with the enemy, uh huh. The enemy, my bro uh, my brothers and sisters, the enemy wants you to presume, uh huh. The enemy wants you to presume in, in this situation, in this year, in this upcoming year. The enemy wants you to go in with presumption. Presumption is when you, through your own ideas and imaginations, pretend, guess, or think that something. 
nothing is the case purely, check this out, on the basis of probability, purely on the great basis of practice or philosophy or data. You just you just conjuring up some stuff. So there's a presumption there. Yes, the enemy wants you to presume that, that you can accomplish all of your hopes and your dreams, check this out, without God. Uh -uh. Without God, I can do nothing. Without God, I would surely fail because you resume uh, uh, or you, 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 you think uh, uh, spotless. You, you won't, uh, uh, won't uh, you to presume, he wants you to presume because you know people in the right positions that, that all will be well with you. But my brothers and my sisters, how many of you uh, know when things worked out for you? Mm -hmm. It wasn't because you were oh so so smart or oh so so spotless. And when things did not work out for you. It wasn't because you were oh so so untarnished or dumb. Uh -huh. But we find ourselves having to defer to the old hymn that Bahia Jackson uh used to sing without God I can do nothing. Oh Lord without God uh, my life would be drifting just like a ship without a sail. Uh -huh. King Saul lost his kingdom because he forgot that God is the same God of Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And the Lord, he is that uh, doeth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Uh-huh. So what God, what got us in this situation uh, is it, going to take that same thing to get you out. What do you mean, Pastor, in the text, verse 17, that this soothsayer, uh -huh, this soothsayer followed Paul on a daily basis as they were going to and fro to the temple and, and, and just teasing them and taunting them. These men are the servants of the Most High God. She was teasing them, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this Bible says that she did it for many days. Uh -huh. you, you know, there, there are some, uh, 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 there are some uh, true components even in what the enemy says about you. This one, oh yeah, uh, the, the enemy, but uh, you, you, you just can't receive it in the spirit though in which the enemy delivers it. Yeah, the enemy tell some truth, uh, some forms of truth. So so for one day, the Bible says something happened. Something happened on one day. One day after many days, Paul grieved in his spirit. He turned and said to the spirit in that woman, I command thee in the name of Jesus. Let me say in the name of Jesus. Put it in the chat. In the name of Jesus, when you go into this you this new year, this 2022, you're gonna have to go in the name of Jesus. And, and the Bible says, and he came out that same hour, that same hour. Check this out, my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, has the enemy gotten you got on your last nerve? For the last time uh -huh, in 2021, we got a few minutes, but you can just say to yourself, the enemy has gotten on my last nerve for the last time. I'm not putting up with it anymore. What are you saying? Have, have you put up with the naysayers in your life long enough? It's, it's, it's enough is enough, as Popeye say, and I can't stand no more. I just believe that Paul became grieved, that Paul became offended on the day, on that day, because this woman being used by the enemy became, check this out, an interruption. She became interference to the work of the Lord. My brothers 
and my sisters. I know many of you are like me. I, I can stand a lot of foolishness. I can stand a lot of foolishness. I can take folk talking about me. I can, I can take that. You know, you can take some stuff, but don't mess with mine. Don't, don't mess with my wife. Don't mess with my family. Don't mess with my church. Don't mess with me when I'm dealing with the things of God. So, so, so much so Paul had it up to here. So much so that Paul didn't presume anything. But he assumed uh -huh, the responsibility, check this out, by taking dominion over what is attempting to hinder the work of God. The Lord created us, y'all. He created you to become a dominator. He called us to have dominion in Genesis 1 and 26. God said, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. In other words, you're supposed to be ruling. You're supposed to be ruling over. Check this out. All of the things on the earth and everything that creepeth on the earth. Uh -huh. uh, put that in the chat. I'm a dominator. Uh -huh. In 2022, I will be a dominator. You need to type that three times. You need to do like the teacher used to do us when we got in trouble. Got to stay after school and write it a hundred times. In 22, I will become a dominator. Hallelujah. So check this out. Uh -huh. This is this is meaning I cannot share. Listen, God's spotlight with God's enemy. Uh -huh. You better hear me. This literally means there is only room for one boss. Uh -huh. And that's your boss. Uh -huh. The king of kings and the lord of lords. Presumption is the acceptance of something as true, although it's not known for certain. So it, it, it requires, it requires no faith to presume certain things. It, it requires no faith. But assumption, assumption is a thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. Assumption, faith is Required, my brothers and sisters, you can assume uh -huh, the right to live uh -huh, uh -huh, demon free. Uh -huh. Cast out your devil in two steps. Uh -huh, put that in. I mean, I can cast out my devils in two steps. Yes, you can cast out the enemy in two steps. What are you talking about, man? Two steps. James 4 and 7 lets us know it's a two step process. What do you mean? James 4 and 7 says, submit yourself, therefore, unto God. First step, submit. Uh-huh. Greek word, hopostale, or, or get in rank, or line up. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? People don't want to submit. They don't want to get in line. And that's how the enemy hangs in. That's how the enemy holds on. That's how the enemy holds you fast. When you don't and you refuse to line up, hallelujah. But James 4 and 7 says, submit yourselves, yourselves, therefore, submit your ways, your ideas, submit them, therefore, to God. In other words, line up with the word of God. And the second process, the second step of the process is submit yourself, therefore, to God, resist. The devil resists the devil. Huh? So the second step is resist anastima or publicly or conspicuously or strongly or loudly. Huh? Oh my God. Shame the devil. Have you ever noticed? Loud talk the enemy. Huh? Jesus said, get thee behind me. Say, have you noticed? Have you noticed? I'm almost finished. Have you noticed? Uh, the enemy doesn't like it 
when when you cause a scene. Uh, he, he's a liar and, and he's being lying. He's been lying all across the community. He's been lying to your friends. He's been lying to your family and he can't take it when you get loud because the enemy works under the covers. He works in the dark. He works in the quiet and 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 but you you want to get him to leave loud talking began to say devil what you say uh-huh and so here it comes and when you began to loud talk the devil the bible says he will run away mm -hmm. in other words he will flee <laughs> in verse 19 and when it says when the damsel uh, master saw that the healing of the girl had hurt their hopes, uh, had hurt their hopes of getting mammon, had hurt their hopes of becoming prosperous. They they called Paul and Silas and, and drew them into the prison. When the government, uh, when the rulers of this age, uh, when, hallelujah, they began to see how you stand for Jesus. And, and for Jesus, I'll live. And for Jesus, I'll die. When people began to see that you're serious about your love for the master, they began to get beside themselves and try to figure out how they're going to shut you down. But well, 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 because the same thing that got you in this mess. <laughs> oh my God, Paul had, had got sick and tired uh, of this woman messing with his faith and his God. Uh, and he began to loud talk the devil. Uh, hallelujah. And because he began to loud talk the enemy, because he began to make a public spectacle of the enemy, uh, then the enemy got mad and wanted to lock him up and lock Silas up. But don't you worry. The same thing, that same thing, that assuming thing, hallelujah, that faithful thing that got you into a tight situation, that put you in a tight squeeze. That same thing is going to take to get you out of that situation. So in, 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 verse 25, Paul and Silas find so two minutes, themselves locked up in prison. And the Bible says, at midnight, Paul and Silas pray. At midnight, sing praises unto God. And as they prayed, as they sang praises unto the Father, the Bible said the prisoners heard them. You got to pray until those that are locked up in sin hear your prayers. You got to praise him until those that need healing in their body began to hear the praise of his people. So don't stop working for the Lord until somebody hears you. Don't stop working. You may be hurt, but don't stop working. Hallelujah for the kingdom until somebody is changed. You may be broken hearted, but don't stop working for Jesus until somebody is saved. What got me in this situation? It's going to take the same thing to get me out. Can you see Paul? Can you see Sal? Uh, hallelujah, they were singing, uh, they were praying, uh, and verse 26 of the text says it like this, uh, and suddenly uh, there was a great earthquake, uh, suddenly uh, there was a pandemic, uh, suddenly uh, there was fire, uh, suddenly uh, there was a storm, uh, suddenly 
there was a theophonic, uh, spiritual uh, spasm from glory. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why the storm you say? Why <laughs> did I lose the love on so it was so uh, the foundation uh, of the prison mm, would be shaken. Mm, it would be so uh, the foundation uh, that was holding people, uh, that was murdering people uh, would be shaken. Uh, the Lord is coming to shake you. Uh, the Lord is coming to wake you up. Uh, hallelujah. People are going around uh, like spiritual zombies. Uh, the day of the walking day. Uh, they act like they don't hear reason. Uh, that they can't understand facts. Uh, they rather believe fiction. Uh, they rather come to that uh, that did not give them any breath in their body uh, than to believe. Uh, they rather to prison uh, than assume. Uh, but here it is, y'all. Uh, if living right gets you in a mess. Then living right will get you out of it. If praying and serving God gets you in a mess, then praying and serving God will get you out. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Can you see them praying? Can you see yourself praying? Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hallelujah. But I know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody that's been disgusted. I'm talking about somebody that's feeling like throwing in the towel. I'm talking to somebody that said, I've been passed up doing all I can and it's still hallelujah will, will serving God pay off serving the Lord will pay off after a while it's time for 2022 it's time for you to lift your hands and give God praise what got me in will get me out walk in 2022 2022 with a new home. Walk in 2022 with a new mind, a fresh anointing. For with Jesus, all things, all things, all things, all things are possible. Now, underneath those mics, and welcome 2022 in. Come on now. Hallelujah. Thank you. So Hallelujah. 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 Thank Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With, your, with your spirit filled with praise yes. and with joy and thanksgiving because he didn't have to do it. Yes. Hallelujah. He didn't have Hallelujah. to do it. He didn't have to yes. do it. We, we're talking about 4.5, 4.6 million people have succumbed to uh, the pandemic, and you have seen 2022. Step mm. on in. Step on in. Step on in. Hallelujah. All right. Step All right. on in. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Man. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes Lord. You. Yes, Lord. Thank Listen, you. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. Hallelujah. 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 That's, uh, it might be somebody. It may be somebody that say, Pastor, I want to give the Lord my heart. I, I, I want to renew my faith. I, I want to I be better. 
I want to be better. I, I want to be better this year. I want to I want I want to give my life to the Lord. Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Is there one? Are there many? Somebody may want to renew their faith and renew their walk with the Lord. Is there one? Is it you? Is it you? If it's you, just unmike the mic and say, hey, Pastor, I, I, I want to give my life to the Lord. If it's you, uh, put it in the chat. Those of you on YouTube, just 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 you're gonna repeat after. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna repeat. Uh, this prayer, and we're gonna go forth because hallelujah! Somebody gonna see this. They saw that uh, uh, at this time. Some of them saw that. Somebody's gonna see it tomorrow. Somebody's gonna see it next year. This time, hallelujah! We thank God. We thank God. But whenever, hallelujah! Whenever it is, God's word never goes out and comes back void. In other words, when you go fishing with the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to always leave with a catch. Hallelujah. You're going to leave with a catch. You're going to leave with, 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 with some soul. Hallelujah. Listen, I want y'all to do this. Re re repeat this prayer with me. Most gracious Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner Forgive me, Lord. Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Of my will and my life. Now, Lord, now, Lord I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Into my heart. Into I believe my heart. that you are the Son of the Most High God. Yes, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, save I thank me. The Savior. I am you. saved. I am Hallelujah. Saved. I receive you in my heart. I believe that, uh, that you have ascended and you now sit at the right hand. And for this, I am saved, and I believe I will reign with you one day. Thank you, Jesus. If you prayed that prayer, you repeated that, you are saved. It's just that simple. It is, you don't have to work for salvation. Hallelujah. This is the work. Work is the witnessing. The work is, is, is the fishing. The work is doing the will of the Father. And I thank God for you. I want to do this, everybody. I want you to do this on this wonderful uh, uh, time with the Lord. Hallelujah. I've had church up here in this little room by myself, the first lady, and hallelujah. I just thank God for a brand new year. I thank God for a brand new year. I thank God for all of you that are watching and all of you that are viewing. We're praying earnestly for your families. We're praying earnestly for Hello? you that your um, Happy New Year, your baby assumptions, boy. with your assumptions come true this year. Uh, Hallelujah! That you all right. I'm, to I'm get, on TV. Uh, I talk to you later. Happy under New Year to a you, okay? good Bible believing, Bible uh, uh, faith walking church that you can grow in God. I thank God for you. Listen, I want to do this. We're going to sow on this word. We're going to sow on these prayers. I thank God for all of you that have tuned in. Regina, God bless you. I see you. I thank God for you, Sheila, and all of you. Continue to be blessed. This is what I want you to do. $52. $1 per week. $52. We're not praying, paying for the, the, the year we've come out of. But we are praying in faith the year that we're going into. By faith, five to fifty-two dollars. I want you to do that. Do that right now while we're talking. Do that right now. You can go to holynationmemphis.org. Holy Nation, N-A-T-I-O-N, Memphis. Holynationmemphis.org. You can go straight to our website right there, and you can go to the contribution app. Follow the contribution app. You can use your bank card or credit card or whatever you would like to use. It right there, holynationmemphis.org. Or you can use, if you have Cash App, if you have Cash App, dollar sign, Holy Nation Ministries. Dollar sign, Holy Nation Ministries. $52. You can do that. Or you can go to Givelify. If you have the Givelify app, uh, we, I wish you would just make us a favorite in your Givelify app. And you can just do it, but go to Giveify and it is Holy Nation 
Ministries, Holy Nation Ministries, and you can sow there. I want you to sow $52, a dollar for every week coming up for this year. Walk in faith. Walk in faith. Sow into this ministry and sow on behalf of your ministry. And I know, I know God has never left, has never failed us. Hallelujah. He says, prove me we here with that I won't pull you out of blessing, that you won't have room enough to receive. Write that, write that, write that, write that. If you want to mail it, you can mail it. You can mail it to a Holy Nation Church, Holy Nation Church. Uh, that's uh, P.O. Box, what's that? 34381. Post Office Box 34381. One Bartlett B A R T L E T T Bartlett Tennessee three eight one eight four right three eight one eight four. Listen, I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Sow that seed now. Sow that seed. This is this is this is for you. This is for you. This is for your posterity. This is for your legacy. This is laying. A, a, a faith seed that you're going to walk into your blessings. You're going to walk into faith. You're going to walk 2022, double up, 22, 22, double up. This is a year of double blessing. This is a year. Oh, my God, my God. Listen, when, when the earth and the world is floundering and trying to act like certain things is not happening, God is trying to get our attention. And the saints are going to prosper, just like he told <clears throat> he told the people uh, when when the the, uh, the, the uh, Pharaoh let them go, go and plunder, go and plunder them. Take what you need. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Take and don't just get a little, get a lot. Hallelujah, God. We're we're in this thing of the. We're in the, We're coming into this dispensation, I believe, of the haves and the have-nots. The, the middle, the middle class. There used to be uh, three or four levels of middle class. There was the lower middle, and the middle middle, and the upper middle, and all of that. Hey, middle class is disappearing. Middle class is disappearing. You're gonna have the haves and the have-nots, and God is not gonna allow His children. Hallelujah. Don't be a foolish farmer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You, you, you harvest, but you never save seed. Hallelujah. You got to save seed to have another harvest so you can plant seed. And so I thank God for you. This is Holy Nation Church of Memphis. We love y'all. Uh, we thank God for you. I want to invite you uh, Sunday, Sunday, twenty. 22. First Sunday in this new year. Hallelujah. If you can beat the door down, 3333 North Old Brownsville Road. 3333 North Old Brownsville Road in the Raleigh Barlett area of Memphis, Tennessee. If you are out of that, that, that coverage area and you can't make it or whatever, listen, I'll see you on YouTube. I'll see you on Facebook. Uh, and very sh shortly, we'll be seeing you on Zoom all at the same time. And so, hallelujah, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're trying to get better at the technology. It's, it's one thing to have a horse, and it's another thing to know how to ride. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. We, 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 not, we, we, gonna, we gonna learn how to bridle this technology so God can get the glory. And you, hallelujah, can be blessed by it. I thank God for you. Come on, first lady, say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Come on. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Amen. We're so glad. 2022 is here and we look forward to the things of God. I know there's so many things that God has in store. We thank God for our leader. Amen. Can't wait to get those marching orders for 22. Amen. So I'm excited. 
I found me some kind of little cheerleader thing. So I'm excited, everyone. God bless you. Love you with the love of the Lord. And happy new year. Happy new year. Unmute your mics. Unmute your mics. Happy new year. What a word. What a word from the Lord. Lord has truly spoken to our hearts on today. Listen, if you gave your life to the Lord on today, we want to encourage you in the things of the Lord. Make sure you just drop a line in our chat box or either you can put you in the, punch in the number three to let us know that you joined the body of Christ. We are so excited and we are overjoyed that you did. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. Listen, you made the right decision. Make sure you go out and share or confess that to someone on today that you decided to give your life to the Lord. Well, we thank you so much for visiting us on today and being with us. We know that we do ministry as I always say here. Don't forget to sow a seed and you know we have various means of giving. You can go to Giveify, Cash App, PayPal. You can text to give, or you can simply drop it in the mail, or you can stop by the church and drop it off. We'll be so glad to receive your seed. Amen. We'll, can, we'll be so glad to do that. Also, we want you to visit our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, uh, subscribe, like, and share, and, and because we need you to help us get the word out to the world. Our pastor, Pastor Pastor Andrew Pepino, as always, is preaching the gospel. And we know that good news need to be out in these days and time. At, that's every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Join us. And then join us at 7 p.m. each and every Tuesday night for Bible study. Oh, my, that's the time when you can come together and just get your pen and your pass out, things of that nature, ask questions, and share with loved ones. All right, we thank God for you on today. Continue you to pray for us as we pray for you. God bless you. Until the next time, walk in favor.